Mark equilibrium is when the quantity demanded is equal to the quantity supplied. Market equilibrium occurs at the intersection of the demand and the supply curves. The price at which this occurs is called the equilibrium price. At any other price, there will be a disequilibrium in the form of an excess demand or an excess supply. When the price of the product is higher than the equilibrium price, for instance P1, then the quantity supplied will be much larger than the quantity demanded, meaning there will be a market surplus. When the price is below the equilibrium price, meaning somewhere like P2, the quantity demanded will be much larger than the quantity supplied, meaning in this market there will be a market shortage. The market will be in disequilibrium. Let's consider our market for coffee. The demand and supply of coffee is represented in this table. Equilibrium occurs when the quantity of coffee demanded and the quantity of coffee supplied are equal. Hence, the equilibrium price of coffee is 30 rand, as the quantity demanded is 60 and the quantity supplied is also 60. Now we can illustrate this graphically. Let's use this information to draw the market demand and the market supply curves. Remember to label the axes. On the vertical axis, we write price. On the horizontal axis, we write quantity. Let's start with the demand curve for coffee. At a price of 10 Rand, people will demand 100 units of coffee. At a price of 20 Rand, people will demand 80 units of coffee. At a price of 30 Rand, people will demand 60 units of coffee. At a price of 40 Rand, people will demand 40 units of coffee. At a price of 50 Rand, people will demand 20 units of coffee. Now we can connect these dots to get the market demand for coffee. Let's do supply in a different color. At a market price of 10 Rand, people will supply 20 units of coffee. At a market price of 20 Rand, producers will supply 40 units of coffee. At a market price of 30 Rand, producers will supply 60 units of coffee. At a price of 40 Rand, producers will supply 80 units of coffee. And lastly, at the price of 50 Rand, producers will supply 100 units of coffee. Let's connect the blue dots to get our market supply curve. Now we can see the equilibrium quantity is 60, same as the table, and the equilibrium price is 30 Rand, also the same as the information given in the table. Prices serve two functions in the economy. First is the rationing function. The rationing function allows goods and services to go to the people who place the highest value on them. Secondly is the allocative function. The allocative function serves as a signal that directs factors of production between different users in the economy.